Today I'm asking a hundred billionaires for a Tesla Cybertruck because I'm still not over the fact I could have had a free Tesla. Oh, I want to cry. I'll regret this forever. Nah. Yeah, I will. And I never give up on anything. And who better to start with than the richest man on the planet with $131 billion in net worth, Bill Gates. Let's get it! Sorry. Oh my God. I think I know just the thing to say. Apple is better. Anyways, could I get a cyber truck? <laughs> Alright, send. Someone else with a lot of money is the President of the United States, Mr. Joe Biden. I know you have the ability to give me a cyber truck. We can make this happen. Best of luck in November, Mr. Sir. <laughs> That's appropriate, right? Whoops, I sent it. But there's someone else who might be a good president also. Miss Taylor Swift. You should be president. If not president, you could give back to the world by getting me a cyber truck. P.S. I love you. Because obviously she's a baller. And some emojis. Send. There's another very rich person that she may or may not be dating right now. Travis Kelsey. I hear throwing that good old pigskin pays well. How about a cyber truck? If I was him, I would respond to that. Maybe I'm crazy. Next up, Emma Stone, because we all know she's actually not a poor thing. <laughs> you guys get it or what? Oh, she doesn't have an Instagram. Okay, we're gonna DM this fan account instead. Please tell Emma Stone I want a Tesla cyber truck and that I know she's not a poor thing so she can manage. Adam Sandler. This man's worth a lot of money. What would happen if you bought me a cyber truck? By the way, huge fan, because I am. It's Mr. Sandler, you gotta respect the man, come on. This is a big one, I'm a little nervous for her. Mark Cuban, $5.4 billion net worth. It would be a shame to get bit by a shark. Don't come for me. Rihanna, I love you. I want a cyber truck. A bunch of exclamation marks, because I feel like she would appreciate something like that. You can't have Rihanna without Drake, so we're DMing Mr. Champagne himself. How about a champagne popped in a new cyber truck? Okay, now I am kind of flirting. That's wrong. Bought from your cheeky credit card, of course. <laughs> I'm getting too excited with these like celebrities. I gotta go to the real billionaires of the world. Here's Steve Ballmer, worth $143 billion. Oh, he doesn't have an Instagram. Okay. I'm gonna DM this fan account instead. Maybe it's secretly him. $143 billion is a lot of money. If this was the real you, I would ask for the Tesla Cybertruck. Oprah's next, and she's proven herself to give back to people. So I wanna send her a little something special. Hey, Oprah. Um, I would love to be in a Cybertruck with you, Mommy Winfrey. Bye, Winfrey. Winfrey? <laughs> okay, see you. Yep, I'm acting like I'm FaceTiming her. Okay, bye. Please watch. I am determined to get the Cybertruck, so we're sending a few more DMs today. David Dobrik, first up. Because he, along with Mr. Beast, have given away a lot of Teslas, so I think there's a good chance I get the Cybertruck. But either way, it's worth a shot. We should be eating Dobrik's hot honey together in a Cybertruck. Want to make that happen? David might not see this, but maybe one of his friends will. Like Todd Smith. Hey, want to hang out in a Cybertruck? All you gotta do is get the Cybertruck. I'm smooth with it, I know. Or maybe I go the girl route, Natalie. This could be good. Natalie's a girl's girl, so I gotta play this right. Hey Natalie, I love you. And I was wondering if I could get a Cybertruck. Is that too forward? Ask David, he knows me already. Then I'll kinda like trick her into doing it. And to really solidify the deal, there was one time I was at Dobrik's and David was there. And I'm somehow in the background of his story at Dobrik's that day, so I'm thinking I send Natalie this photo to make her think David and I hang out. Now back to the billions. Warren Buffett. This guy is so rich, he probably doesn't even know what to do with himself. He owns that Berkshire Hathaway signs real estate company. I don't even know what it is, but I see them everywhere. I've basically known about Berkshire Hathaway since I was out the womb. And he does not have Instagram, but... I'm still gonna DM this fan page in hopes that maybe something will happen. Tell Warren I love him and I want a Tesla Cybertruck. Andrew Garfield. Hey Zaddy Spider-Man, you're the best one. Can I have a Cybertruck? And for the rest of the night, I went down the Forbes billionaires list and DM'd them with still no luck. I'm sick of this. Robert Downey Jr. Hey honey bun, may I have a Cybertruck? 
Vin Diesel. I want a cyber truck. Mr. Cars. I killed that one. Cardi B. Hey, I'm Cardi X. That's what I've always been called. And I'll let you take my name if you get me a Tesla Cybertruck. That's how you get them. Blackmail. Mark Zuckerberg. Coming in at $173 billion in net worth. I don't know if you've heard, but David Fincher made a banger about you called Social Network. We can watch it together in the Cybertruck that you buy me. And let's add a happy face. And that is how you ask for a Cybertruck. So, it's been three days, and I still don't have responses from anyone. So I'm gonna try one last time today, and if no one responds, I might just get that thing for myself. Cause you know what? You can't rely on anyone else in life except for yourself. And also nothing comes free anyways. That's what I like to tell myself <laughs> after missing out on a free car. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you may not know this, Bill Gates is no longer number one richest in the world. It's actually Bernard Arnault, who is some Frenchman. But I figured I'd message him today because maybe he's feeling Frenchy. Again, like most billionaires, he does not have an Instagram. So I'm gonna message the fan page in hopes that they know him. First of all, would love to say how much I appreciate you for having such a wealthy family. Justin Bieber. Oh, he doesn't allow it. Okay. Haley, though, I can message her. Mommy Bieber, I want to tell you how much I love Road. Your branding is great, and the Cybertruck is silver. All I'm saying is, if you gift me the Cybertruck, I will make content for you for the rest of time. Speaking of Justin's lovers, let's DM Selena Gomez. You know what else is a rare find? The Cybertruck. Give me. Also, I love you, Miss Girl. You know who will respond to me, actually? Tiger Woods. Because him and I have actually played golf together once. Tiger, remember me from when we played golf together? Here's what's gonna happen now. We're just gonna take this into Snapchat quickly. Oh, here we go, okay, all right. We're gonna find a sticker. I want Cybertruck. Jennifer Aniston, be a good friend and buy me Cybertruck, please. I'm begging. Gordon Ramsay. I actually made a special video for Gordon, so uh, I'm just gonna send that on over to him and he'll be pleased with it. Hey, Gordon. I just wanted to let you know what you're missing out on. Um, yeah. I know how to make this stuff. Hire me or buy me a cyber truck at least. Like that's the least you could do for me. So thank you for your consideration. Will Smith, who actually, when I was researching, is the number one most known celebrity or something right now? I don't believe that, but I'm gonna let him know. You are number one, ayo. I personally feel that Michelle Obama will respond to me, but this is the archived version of her, so I don't even know what that means. Archived Michelle, hello. Cybertruck? Richard Branson, I don't even know who this is, but I found him. His bio says, screw it, let's do it. So I'm gonna say, screw it. Buy me a Cybertruck. Mariah Carey. I know exactly what I want to say to this girl. All I want for Christmas is a Cybertruck. Sent Mr. Chan. I like karate. Cyber? Question mark? He'll get it. How about some Rachel McAdams? Don't be a mean girl. Give me a Cybertruck. Get it? Snoop Dogg. Is this thing on? Word. Snoop Dogg. Da 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 da. You should buy me a Cybertruck right now. Snoop Dogg. Now before we ask Mr. Beast and Elon, I might have some hope in the former CEO of YouTube, Susan Wojcicki. I don't know how to say your last name. I'm sorry, Susan. And uh, she follows Mr. Beast. So technically she knows of me in a way and she could be my in. 
Susan. Big fan of you and all you're doing. Best. Susie Taylor. I couldn't ask her for something. I just needed to let her know that. I appreciate her. Well, I've had terrible luck to say the least. Not that I really had an expectation, but I thought at least someone would see the message, but I haven't even gotten that. So, but I've saved the best for last. And these are two billionaires who are the most likely to get me a Cybertruck, Mr. Beast. Okay, this is huge. I gotta get this right. Hey, Jimmy, miss you. Thank you so much for offering me a Tesla once. It would be greatly appreciated if you got me a Tesla again. But this time, a Cybertruck. This feels so wrong, actually. He literally already offered me a car. I'm not sending that. He's already done too much for me. So the fact that I would ask him for a Tesla again is very greedy. So I'm actually not gonna do that. But someone who may be willing is Elon Musk himself. We're just gonna keep it short and sweet for him. Elon, my guy, may I please have a Cybertruck? Question mark. I think he'll respect the straightforwardness. Here's the thing. I know all these billionaires are not responding to me, but I still want to find out what the Cybertruck is like for myself to see if this thing's even worth all the hype that's surrounding it. Since I'm not going to get a Cybertruck from a billionaire, I'm determined to at least sit in one. I'm going to be going to all the Tesla superchargers around Los Angeles in hopes that a Cybertruck will be at one of them. So far, it's not looking good. Well, it's been an hour and still no Cybertruck, so on to the next. We're at the second location, and again, there's not a Cybertruck, so I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not kidding. Well, it's been an hour, and no Cybertruck has come, and I don't got all day, so on to the next. I'm sad. I need a Cybertruck. So can you help me or not? I guess cyber trucks are harder to find than I thought. Ah! There's a cyber truck right there. I'm literally turning right and this cyber truck's turning left. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm scared. Look, look, look at him go. I'm going after him. We must. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Maybe he'll let me drive it. Hi, how are you? I just wanted to say I love your car. How is it? It's the best. Is it? Should I get one? I'm trying to ask like people that own them if I should get them. Okay, have a good one. Right. Okay, good, I talked to him. That's all I care about. Well, I didn't get to drive a Cybertruck today, but my friend Dennis just texted me saying he has a way to help us out. I don't know what that means, but we're meeting up with him tomorrow. Dennis, I love you. <laughs> okay, Dennis said he's here. We're about to meet up with him. That is so sick. I'm Dennis. Nice to meet you, Dennis. I'm Susie. Of course. So wow, this, this is, is it. sick. So the first thing is you can actually push this button right here. And that's the tonal cover to expose the actual bed. Whoa. Wow, that's sick. And then we've also got side lighting LEDs on the side and then I mean, it's a decently sized bed. So then wow. you can actually push this third button right here and that shows you the actual. Oh, oh, hello. Oh my gosh, whoa. And then there's also a little bit of area space down here where you can put stuff down there if you want to hide stuff. What's this do? That's like the emergency lease, uh, release if you get trapped in there, if someone oh. wants to, yeah. If there's like a human in there. Exactly, well, <laughs> and this can support up to 300 pounds standing on it. So you want to jump standing on top? On... Really? I can stand on it? Yeah, you can stand on it. Oh. This feels so wrong. <laughs> I, I literally like don't even, whoa. This is another funny topic, this massive windshield right here. That is the length of me, I think. <laughs> if I were to lay on top of this car, it would be the length of me. So how to get in is you're gonna push this button right here. And then you have to open the door. I like don't wanna touch it. <gasps> Wait, do you have the, oh my gosh. Wait, there's the star ceiling. Yep. What is it Stars called? Stars in the ceiling. Yeah. Yep, literally, that's oh it. Oh my god. <gasps> Whoa. 
So here's the actual key. Oh, okay, great. And you can put it right there, yep. Okay, now we're running. Now turn the steering wheel all the way to the left. And you'll see how limited, that's it. Oh, wait, it like barely moves at all. It looks like we're lifting up and down. So we're moving all four wheels right now as you turn. The front wheels and the back wheels are turning. Wait, that's you. not normal. It's not right? normal. Right? Okay, no. I was like, <laughs> I actually did bring a gun to test it. Oh. Can I do that? How, what millimeter is it? <laughs> it's a it's a big gun. Ooh. Will you let me? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> All right, let's do it. It's so funny. Now that we're in here, in here, we can activate the windshield wiper. So go ahead and hit that button. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, Whoops. wait. <laughs> Forgot about Hold that. Hold on, the mount. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. New title is I Broke Cybertruck Window Wiper. How about we spend the last hour taking it to repair it? <laughs> Oh my gosh, wait, I feel awful. After I rudely broke his windshield wiper, Dennis still offered to show me how fast this car could really go. Okay. Ah! Oh my gosh! Holy cow! Oh my gosh, that rips! Holy! Oh, I actually wasn't ready for that. Oh my gosh. Ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> and now it was time to finally drive the cyber truck. Ooh. Pretty good. So does everyone stare at you in this car? Everywhere. Like that's actually kind of the reason why I don't daily drive it is because I have to build in time wherever I go. Like 10. Wow, minutes. because everyone wants to talk to you. Yep. Interesting. Wow, this is so cool. Thank you for letting me drive it. Yeah, of course. It's so cool. So, are you gonna order one? Uh, nah, I'm kinda <laughs> over it now. <laughs> well, no billionaires responded to my DMs. So, I decided through all this, even though I was offered a free Tesla, I now don't even care to have one because I'm content with what I have. But this was fun. Stay smiling. <laughs>